are back. Welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be doing a face base wear test today. What else are we gonna be doing? Well, we could do a lot of things, but right now I wanna try new makeup. We're gonna be setting the foundation with a powder and then we're gonna be using a makeup setting spray. We're doing the entire full face and makeup routine for this wear test. But we're gonna be doing a wear test on a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. So this is the Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint. It's a hydrating foundation stick, a long lasting, easy to apply, buildable, sheer foundation stick with a lightweight breathable gliding balm. I have these right here that you can see on the side of my lips. At the moment I don't have so many blemishes but I do have a couple. So let's see if this sheer coverage can at least cover those up. They're not very dark and as you can see my face is darker than my neck. What I like to do is match my foundation to my neck. These are my handy tools I'm gonna to be using, primer and the makeup sponge I love. Just reading from the package, it says that this has the soft blur focus effect, long-term skincare benefits, it's hydrated, smoother looking skin, fresh radiance. That is what it promises. I use primer with mostly all my wear tests. Tried and true primer goes first. I always put primer on, some people don't, I do. I have oily skin, I like primer to help the makeup stay in place. And now we're gonna start with the stick. So you just turn it up like that, it rotates and you get as much leverage as you need. We're gonna glide across the forehead. We're gonna wear it for hours and we're gonna check back in, let you know, does it look good? Does it still look how it looked when I put it on? How's it doing at the end of the night? Things like that. I feel like once you spread it, sometimes I've had foundations like look extremely light. Sometimes it oxidizes darker. Sometimes it comes out the perfect color. Let me see if I can find the color for you guys. This is color tan medium. Okay. I dragged the product down to my neck and I feel like it gave me a tint. It's a sheer coverage foundation, so it's going to tint. I think everything looks really uniform because I dragged the product down to my neck. There we are. Okay, so we're gonna do the simplest makeup look. I don't have very many places to go today. Makeup girly tries to go light and easy because she doesn't actually have anywhere to go. We're gonna try to keep it light and easy. <laughs> But we're going to see how this product does with cream products, with powder products, all of it. I have to tell you guys right away, my skin feels so hydrated, you guys. I just finished applying this. Wow. Crazy hydrated. I feel like my face is just going to start dripping. And it's not, obviously, it's not like, there's not like water or a liquid product on my face. But it feels very, very hydrated. This is going to be very good for the girls with dry skin. And okay, so it's true. This is a sheer coverage. Right. And we're going to whiz through that makeup. We're not going to stay and do like a full makeup tutorial because this is a wear test. So it's mostly about the foundation. So I have it on now. The clock is ticking. The hours are going to pass and we're going to see how it goes. Like I said, I'm going to whiz through my makeup and check back with you guys even when I'm done. We're not done with the makeup look, so don't judge you guys, but I do have all my cream products. I feel like it blends very well with all the cream. I do want a little bit of bronzer on my nose. Even though I don't look, even though I don't look fully made up, I don't think I'm gonna do bronzer. I discovered the Milani Highly Rated Mascara in my last wear test and I like this. I can't believe I'm actually wearing a sheer foundation. This looks good with all the other stuff that I wanna wear. Now there isn't naturally any shimmer in here but I do have this uh, spray that has a little bit of shimmer in it but I don't think it's really gonna affect the wear test. Um, the shimmer kinda of goes away in the spray after a while so. Here's how my nose looks. The skin looks real. This is my real skin. Like my nose is a tiny bit textured, a little bit of texture on my cheeks. Under my, uh, under my eyes is a little bit oily. Looks like real skin. I like it. For lip, I'm just gonna do this new e.l.f. lip pencil and color the whole thing in. This is called Baddest Beige. I think it's the cream glide lip liner. Guys, okay, so we are beginning the wear test right here. Here we are guys, after seven hours of wear. It is evening, you saw me eating, you saw me drinking. 
my eyelashes got smashed. I was holding the baby, so they got smashed. Like my brows are coming off. Okay, this is good for the light makeup wearers. Um, my face still feels moisturized. It doesn't feel dry now. The sheer coverage didn't really settle into lines that much. Okay, it's worn away a little here. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit powder. I don't normally reapply powder throughout the day, but if you were that girly, your makeup would instantly look refreshed like this. You, you don't have to redo it for the evening. This is it. And your foundation looks brand new. Little glowy, little dewy still. And that's fine because that's what it says on the product. I will say the blush, the blush is gone though. I noticed that. The blush didn't stay very well with this product, but I think I tried it with another product, the same blush, and it didn't stay very well either. So don't worry that the blush is gone. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why I never smelled it. <laughs> very natural looking today. I was gonna apply some gloss for you guys, but I was like, oh, let's just stick with the natural looking makeup today. Let me know in the comments which other foundations you would like for me to try. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye.